Hey guys, welcome back. I'm currently in Melbourne on a trip with Bora Lepage. I'm so excited about this trip because you guys know how much I absolutely love Pharrell Lepage products. So Pharrell Lepage has opened up a brand new boutique here in Melbourne, which is the first store here in Australia. And I've been chatting with the Pharrell Lepage team about this collaboration trip. So I flew down to Melbourne. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen my story where, you know, I took a little snapshot at the airport. I just can't wait to check the store out. I mean, you know, I've been loving Pharrell Lepage for so long. So this is just so surreal that I get to work with them. And it's all thanks to you guys for enjoying my content and trusting my opinion on things. There, that you can see Hermes there, and Forella Park is located right next to Hermes on Exhibition Street. How beautiful is the entrance of the store? So this is an overview of what the boutique looks like from the entrance. How stunning is it? The details are just so beautiful. I love the Melbourne and Paris signs. You can see a lot of yellow throughout as it is a significant color for the house. The color yellow symbolizes Roman god of wars. And in Asian culture, the empress used to wear yellow. So it symbolizes strength. And of course, in the Australian culture, yellow symbolizes happiness, sunshine, and friendship. The fireplace looks so luxurious as well. Love the details on the table as well. This design was inspired by the magical properties of white oak and of course the events of the Black Saturday bushfires in Australia that happened a couple of years ago. When a bushfire goes through an area, everything grows back more lush so this symbolizes something really positive that comes out the other end of a tragedy. These are the daily battle totes in all different sizes and in different canvas colors and you can see different pochettes and charms attached to them as well. Yeah, just trying on some pieces. This is called the Calibre 21. It's got a top handle as well as a shoulder strap. You can also convert this into a double strap evening bag. Very versatile. So just opening up the bag. There's a little D-ring on the side where you can attach little charms to personalize your bag with. I'll show you the charms as well in a bit. The leather feels and looks so luxurious and durable. I feel like you get a lot of bag for your money at Farrell Lepage. The craftsmanship is so good and the prices are actually quite reasonable. Love the scale canvas, which is the signature canvas pattern of Farrell Lepage. It's inspired by the top scales on dragons and also scales on mermaids. So it represents strength and seduction. I love how unique this canvas pattern is. So you can see the scale motif on that back wall there, as well as on their furniture. Just trying on the burgundy one. This bag comes in two sizes, this one which is 21 and the larger 27. Love the burgundy. I love this colour. I think so. I thought about the green one too, oh, a lot, because it's so fresh. Yeah, it yeah. is. It's something that I guess there's no other green out there. No. Like so apparently the green color is called the empire green and it's inspired by the green that napoleon's officers wore and i just wanted to quickly show you a size comparison between the daily battle tote 37 and the 32. a lot of people actually always ask me what size to go for i'd say 32 is a really good daily size so it's great as a work bag just checking myself out in the mirror and it will still fit a laptop and everything here. Yeah, perfect for 13 inch laptop, documents, mm. essentials. Perfect. And I actually personally have the size 37 because I actually was going to upgrade my laptop to a 16 inch, which didn't uh, happen. But yeah. I check the dimensions. If you have the larger laptop, this is perfect. So, visually, the 37 doesn't look too overwhelming because mm. I'm not very tall either. So. This is what they look like and if you've got questions, leave them in the comments. This is probably my favorite little mini bag. It's called the Holster. Yeah. Such a cute little bag. It's like a wallet on chain almost, it isn't is. it? It is. So you can take the straps off and essentially mm. use it as a wallet. Mm. And then at the back as well. You actually have heart slots. Oh wow. And you can even put in a little mini lipstick. I'm in love with this one. 
So the holster comes in a lot of different colors. This is the black, the steel gray, walnut brown, the dark brown, and rouge Everest. This one is called Prey 19. It's a cute dainty evening bag in a little satchel style. It's already got the little personalization charm on it. And that little buckle is an upside down scale. The straps are detachable, so you can just carry it as a top handle bag. Love a good back pocket, <laughs> so convenient. Always put parking tickets in it. And even the strap one side is in the scale canvas, the other side is the plain leather, so cute. Just opened Parade 19 up. A little zipped pocket. Very well thought out design. wanted to show you this cute sweet little backpack also comes in a lot of different colors this cute camera bag is called the hands-on you can use it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag but you can also detach the strap and use it as a clutch because it's got a little slip there for your hand to slide into just trying on one of their iconic styles called the Express it's a really nice alternative to a more common option like the Pichette Matisse. Yeah, trying on some luggage. This is the dream bag. This is perfect for traveling. I think I much rather this than a very recognizable monogram duffel bag. You can carry these three different ways as well. So obviously by the top handle like this or on the shoulder with the shoulder strap. But if you're in a crowded place and you don't want to bump into people, you can also carry it vertically with the handle on the side. It's such a clever design. Also has metal feet. And this is the chest of all the metals that you can personalize your bag with. So you can select from the different colored leather tabs that attaches to the bag and then you can go with initial like I did on my daily battle toe 37 or you can go with a number or you can go with one of these medals that have different meanings it's just a really nice way to make your bag your own so it'll be very unlikely for you to see someone else with the exact same bag as you the seven's a very significant number for the yeah. house yeah so between the Royal Apart and the Paris 1770 there are seven scales, you can mm. count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. And also another little like subtle hint that they mm. put on the straps. Mm -hmm. oh. So there are 17 holes on either side. Really? So if you count them, mm. it's the year that the house was founded. Okay, 17. Mm -hmm. 17, 17. 17, 17. Looking at some SLGs now, you can see some pochette zips in different sizes. Then there's some carry-on pouches. There's a wallet on strap as well. Just wanted to show you a quick size comparison between the different sizes of the zipped pochettes. So this is the size 19, still big enough to fit a phone. You can see my hand there for reference. This is the size 29, which is exactly the one I have. It fits a lot. Then we've got the size 33, which will be perfect for an iPad. Then the larger size 37 will be big enough to fit a small laptop. So these are the sizes. This is your very safe choice. <laughs> Just the classic card holders. I love that little cutout. Makes it easy to grab your card out of there. Canvas feels really nice to handle. And then these are little pocket wallets. Again, a really nice alternative to boring ones <laughs> that everyone else has. Oh, it's so nice. Look at that leather. And we've got these passport holders that come in all different canvas colors. Just look at that leather. 
so hearty. All right, now to the most exciting part of this video. I've got something in here to take home. So the Forella Pudge team was kind enough to prepare this for me. So I'm really, really excited. And of course, we're celebrating. This door is just so beautiful. I'm just in love. Apparently this door is a lot bigger than the Paris door as well. So really, really happy that I got to see it pretty early after they uh, opened the door. So cheers. <laughs> okay, should we do this? Even the ribbon is so beautiful. So for those of you who watch my videos regularly might be able to guess what's in here because it was actually part of my 2021 wish list in this exact color. Actually, I had two color options and ultimately decided to go with this color. So here's the beautiful dust bag. If you guys want to guess what I got, pause the video and leave a comment. So, I'm gonna straighten this. So, this is the beautiful Daily Battle Tote Zip in size 32. So, you guys know that I have my Daily Battle Tote without the zip in Paris Blue in size 37. So, I wanted something slightly smaller for work and for travel. And what's nice about this particular one is that you can actually zip it completely closed. And it even comes with a little snap closure so you can keep the zipper completely secure and let's open it up you know that i absolutely love for lepage canvas it is so unique you don't see this everywhere when you're out and about but you can really see the quality of the canvas this one actually feels even thicker than the um, version without the zip so very substantial and the interior is really, really nicely laid out as well. So there's a pocket here. There's another pocket and look how cute. It's in the gun shape. So that is super cute. Love the yellow detail. Yellow has a lot of meaning to the house, like I said, while I was touring the boutique. So that is what the inside looks like. I just love having the option of zipping it up. So when you're traveling, you don't have to worry about things falling out and again as usual the straps are completely adjustable and there are 17 holes like we said before so you can make it like into a very short top handle bag if you want to and you can make it into a longer drop if you feel that that's a bit more comfortable for you and i'm gonna quickly show you later on in the next couple of videos i'll show you exactly how much i can fit in there but i wanted to just quickly show you what the bag looks like on me so that is the size 32, like I said. Perfect tote size. Love this color. So the canvas color is Rouge Everest and the leather part is in the color Bordeaux. It's a beautiful deep wine color. Yeah, so Really, really exciting that I got to tick this one off my wish list. And there is one more thing. There's a little book. <laughs> What's this book? Um, it's just a really fun book. So on one side, it's what women want. And on the flip side, it's make men mad. <laughs> oh! So there's this little phrase that's in there. Oh, cool. Oh, your voice can be in it, right? Oh, for that part? Yeah. <laughs> yeah <sure. laughs> I can't explain it. <laughs> That sip is getting to me. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, let's get to the other part, which is in this small dust bag. Again, <laughs> I'm a huge fan of having a smaller pochette inside of my larger bags because a lot of your things can get lost in a big bag. So I like to keep things that I need quick access to in a small pouch. So you guys know that I brought my blue Paris blue pochette in the exact same, same size. You can wear this as a handbag as well because it is a general size. You can fit everything in there. I've shown you time and time again. So I wanted of course another matchy matchy one to go inside of this beauty. So Again, inside of this tote, there is a D-ring. So if you want your things inside the pochette 
extra secure you can actually undo this one side and attach it onto the deering that way it will stay attached to the bag so extra secure and one of you guys actually pointed this out but i wanted to show you you can actually convert this into a shorter bag so let me give you a little modeling shot of this as well so very versatile so you can even make this into like a little evening bag you know it's sort of these armpit bags that just sit under your arms really in at the moment so that's really cute and you can just use it as it was meant to be as a wristlet so I am super over the moon with my two new beauties and you'll see these beauties in my upcoming videos so stay tuned for those so I'm just back at the hotel now, finished up at Brella Park and had an amazing Japanese dinner with the team at this Japanese restaurant called Nikuo. The meat was just amazing. I highly recommend it. But anyways, the whole experience was just so lovely. The Forella Park boutique was really beautiful as you could see. So if you do live in Melbourne, you have to make the trip down to Forella Park to check the store out. Also, if you're planning on a trip to Melbourne, do make some time and head over to Forella Page. For my fellow Aussies, if you do want to shop anything from Forella Page Melbourne, which is the only store in Australia at the moment, the easiest way is to contact the store directly and they can pretty much do like a virtual consultation and show you everything virtually. So I'm going to leave their contact details on screen and also in the description section below. So it's easy for you if you're interested in anything from Forella Page. As you guys could tell, I've already got a couple of things on my wish list. I am leaving Melbourne tomorrow, so you never know. Tomorrow morning, I might be going down to Forella Park and pick up a couple more things. So if that does happen, I will let you know and unbox them as well. So obviously it has happened and I actually bought myself a couple more items, which I'll share with you in the next couple of videos. Everything just has a beautiful craftsmanship and every single detail on their pieces have some sort of a meaning and heritage and history behind them. And that's what makes these houses really special. Anyways, if you guys have any questions about anything I showed you today, do leave them in the comments below or just DM me on Instagram and before I sign off let me just show you the beautiful Melbourne view so I'm gonna just flip the camera around so here is the Melbourne City night view from my room just a beautiful city and I am so happy to be back and on that note thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video bye guys